Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I am so, so excited to get to share with you the amazing free spirit bundle that has been sent to me for review for just the second time, which is kind of amazing to me just because I feel like I've been so immersed in the world of free spirit designs and the amazing community that Victoria has created. So you guys, let's talk about this box really quickly because I'm sure there's gonna be so much to share with you. It is a quarter home decor subscription and what I love about it is it is very very eclectic so no matter what your home design style is these pieces are gonna work well in your home because it's not just contemporary or not just farmhouse or not just traditional or vintage it really is just these really unique beautiful pieces and she makes sure that every season builds on the next so you can integrate them throughout your home and what's really nice is she doesn't just give you a box of stuff and say go ahead and figure it out she gives you all kinds of design and styling tips and not just for the items in the box you guys but also just for whatever you happen to have on hand in your own home she does this thing where it's so cool you guys someone will take a photo of an area in their home and ask for some advice from Victoria and complimentary just by being a part of the living beyond ordinary Facebook group that is for subscribers she will give them all kinds of suggestions and options and even do all of the research one time I saw her like give someone uh, I think like 15 different options for wall art or different mirrors and then she even gives you discounts like designer discounts I just it is so cool you guys but I know you're here to see the box so I guess we should probably talk about the box it is $274.99 per quarter I know that seems like a big investment but again you guys it is so so much more than a box of stuff it is all of that complimentary design styling tips as well as that whole amazing immersive community that she has created and she also has a give back project which you guys know I love which is free spirit bundle blessings where she actually will design or reimagine an entire space in a family's home which you guys know how important it is to have a safe and comforting space in your home and to sometimes have it be elevated by a expert eye right so I just I just love that and I think they actually did two for last year so if you are in that Facebook group you'll get to see all of that stuff now I said I would uh, I said I would show you the box but the box is so big I have to kind of like gear up for it but I know you may have already seen some spoiler videos, but I have done my best not to watch any of those spoiler videos because I didn't want to go into the box uh, and ruin all of the beautiful decoration that she did, the presentation of it, and also just really love to have that authentic experience with all of you where we open it together, right? So um, I couldn't really show you the whole box very well, I know, but let me just go ahead and start to pull these things out. I want you to know that this is the February box. It should be in your hands when you order it before Valentine's Day so you can kind of think of it as a beautiful Valentine's Day gift to yourself which I just think is a really nice thing to do for yourself but your whole family right anyone who lives in your home so I'm pulling out the items because like I said the box is a little bit unwieldy and that's just uh, something I have to do here in my very limited space but you guys I will definitely show you up close and what I love also is that instead of doing just a product card you know she actually does little tags on each of the items so it's almost like an Alice in Wonderland experience where it's like eat me drink me do all these things with each of these items so so far I pulled out four things but there's definitely a tag that is hiding something below okay we have a lot of shred for me to kind of wade my way through and then I think there might be one more thing here at the bottom oh goodness you guys this is why it's good to open everything up ahead of time but I like to do these continuous take videos because it really creates that excitement for me as well as you and you get the true unboxing experience and it really is an experience she really wants you to feel like you are opening an amazing gift an amazing care package from a friend and I also just love that she really vets all of these items all of these companies as well in terms of using them in her own home for months and months before she actually selects and decides to use them in the box so you know you're being taken care of all the time all right so I think that there are six items so we will go ahead and get started I know that there's usually a handmade item I did get a little heads up that there is an item that is from a woman owned business like a really special item so we'll be on the lookout for that but I'm gonna go ahead and start with the biggest item that was on the bottom because I feel like sometimes those bigger items sort of get uh, pushed to the end of the video and you guys know I like to keep my videos at a reasonable length for you so that you can watch them all in one sitting 
but I do think it's really fun when some of you have shared that you've uh, done your unboxings along with mine so sometimes you'll wait so we can discover things together and I think, just think that's great. Uh, she also does all kinds of events like I said uh, where you can uh, design with wine and Victoria and the crew over there and I love seeing uh, familiar names over there that are in our Facebook group as well as in Victoria's Facebook group. So I see, I see you guys and I definitely want to participate a lot more this year. All right, so it looks like we have got this gorgeous, it looks like jute rug. It says, so here's an example of the little tag. So it says free spirit bundle. On the other side, it's got the writing. It says, I am braided with natural fibers, making me a unique and one of a kind rug. Place me in your foyer, bathroom, kitchen, or hallway to help catch the everyday dirt while adding a beautiful casual texture to your home. I can be vacuumed and cleaned with a damp cloth. Now we love hearing that we can just vacuum it up. I actually think this would be a great runner for my hallway. So you guys know that I live in a very small apartment. It's just a two bedroom, one bath apartment. That's like a lot of personal information right there. Um, but so I don't get to change things up too much and I do like to keep things pretty eclectic. So that's why this is a great box for me to enjoy and incorporate the things into my own home. But it's a little bit more on the container temporary side, but I do like to have that kind of Hugo style as well. So lots of natural fibers, lots of mixed textures. I'm going to go ahead and put the box down on the ground so that I have a little more arm space because look how big this beautiful, beautiful runner is. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is super duper long. Look how long it just keeps going and going and going. I think it's going to be like my wingspan essentially, just like a little bit shy. So you guys, that is huge. And it's a really nice weave. It kind of has that area rug feeling to it. Let me see what it says. So that's uh, from Bloomingville. I was going to see it says spot clean. It's made in India. It is 100% a jute, but I just love how simple it is. That's so great. If you have a nice big entry with maybe double doors, it could also work for that uh, to go across the whole entryway because you know how sometimes it looks kind of silly to have like a little tiny little doormat in front of your big double doors. I don't have big old double doors. I do have some slider doors that it might work in front of though. So that's one thing to consider. So let's go ahead and move on to something else. Maybe something that's not wrapped up, but I do still have to free it a little bit from the shred. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. You guys, little sneak peek here while I read the tag to you. I am made out of stainless steel and brass, which makes me washable. My unique details look great serving salads to your family and friends. I am also a perfect hostess gift for your next dinner party and would be a gorgeous statement piece in any kitchen. I kind of just really vibe with this idea of each of these items introducing themselves to us. And then also, of course, Victoria and her team giving us really great ideas how to use them. But look how unique these are. So they have kind of a vintage vibe to them, but you would never actually get to to find something like this on your own, right? And then look, I love that it's like two-tone metal as well. So we have one that has more of a tong, more that's one that's more of a spoon. So of course you could use it just as a spoon as well, but I think it looks so great as a salad servers. I just love the like flowers. And you guys know I'm not like really a big floral person, but that sort of eclectic vintage uh, style, kind of antique style, that is totally me. And also I love the mixed metals. So um, speaking of different textures, which Victoria is very conscious of giving us different textures, a lot of um, really more muted palettes so that again, you can integrate them into your own home and so that all the pieces are gonna work together and not necessarily in one spot in your home, but throughout. I'm gonna go ahead and move to something that has a, a, a more of that natural element. And I'm gonna make a big mess because it is already full with uh, some more natural elements, some paper, um, to find our little sticker. And she did say that some of the pieces, because they are handmade, they're very unique. So there's gonna be some variations in everyone's boxes in terms of the actual you know, color, or in this case, where it has wood, where it's gonna be different grains of wood. Ha <laughs> ha, this is so cool, you guys. I love that I got this, this section of the wood where it's got this kind of big eye on it. So on this side, almost like white, wash looking and then this side has this big running eye that's so cool let's see what this tag says all right, I'm gonna pull it out so that you guys can see the inside and I love the like spirals in there. It says, I am handmade and truly one of a kind. Use me as a decorative piece and display me on any surface in your home. Use me in the kitchen to hold your fresh produce. Yes, traditional fruit bowl, right? Or fill me with soaps and bath bombs by your bathtub. Well, that's not gonna happen because you guys know I'm not a bath girl, but wow, that is so pretty. It's kind of a neat size too. It's not like really huge, like a salad bowl, right? So I wouldn't probably use it with those tongs, but you can 
can make it very versatile. I love how it's just gonna fit in so many design styles, right? It's not farmhouse, but it's got that wood element. It is not necessarily contemporary, but it's very simple, very clean lines, kind of more rough hewn, not super finished, not super glossy. And then you can make it a seasonal piece, right? Depending on what you put in it. So for the fall, you might fill it with potpourri or pine cones, you know, and then in the spring, of course, you could put some fruit in there or even do like a little flower display. You could do all those cool like decorative balls, you know, the moss ones or the wicker ones or even ribbon ones. You could even use it just to like store your yarn or other craft supplies. This is a great bowl to have on a side table just for kind of a catch all for things, right? So I love this though. And I love how thick and sturdy it feels too. Very like rustic vibes. So, okay. So we are halfway through our box. Let's take a look at some of this gorgeous packaging, which I'm so sad to take apart, you guys. I'm so sad to take apart this beautiful little presentation, but this is what this box feels like. So I know some of you will pour a glass of wine before you dive into your box, and I think that is awesome. Or like I said, some of you will wait and be super patient and wait to open with an unboxing. If any of you happen to be doing that right now and you are opening your amazing free spirit bundle along with me, thank you so much. I am so happy to have you here. All right, so this is just a cute little extra that we can totally save. It was just kind of double stick taped on there. So I'm going to hold on to it because you guys know I love little rustic elements like this and I like to use them in my photos a lot. So unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to take pictures of the box before I opened it up, but I will hopefully be taking some kind of close ups. You guys know I like to do product features over on my Instagram page. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But I wanted to get this posted as soon as possible because I know that this box will sell out because this box always sells out every single season you guys so don't uh, wait on it and kind of hem and haw and think about it you want to get this box because it's so special and the sooner you get to be a part of the free spirit bundle community the better right all right so oh my gosh we have more texture this is very kind of it's both modern and vintage at the same time and you'll see what I'm saying when I open it up look at this beautiful glass case it's like a display case you could use it for so many things for your watches for your jewelry wow this is so pretty and it's golden glass you guys know I am a huge fan of golden glass <laughs> it's like kind of my design aesthetic um, and at the same time combined with all these things it's not cold right that's some i know some of you know i like contemporary stuff but then you're like but you know contemporary can feel so cold when it's like all that metal and all that you know black lacquer what have you but gold and glass has a warmth and an elegance to it and but at the same time, it kind of has this finish where it looks like antique, like you might have found it somewhere in a special vintage store. Let's see what it says. Oh, I love this idea. Let me add a touch of nostalgia and a vintage feel to your bedroom, a living room, office, or kitchen. Use me to display your beautiful treasures and favorite items. Place simple decor pieces inside or even your favorite love letters. Like I said, this could come in time for Valentine's Day. What a gorgeous gift box if you wanted to do something like that for someone. Um, so it does have a divider so it's not quite where you could probably set actual um, like legal letters in there because that divider does not come out but you can have them all folded up you could do little valentines you could of course have um, some of those like smaller postcards or note cards you could just put your notepads in there to kind of have a nice little display case and make this more of a desk accessory versus something that goes on your dresser or of course in your bathroom too I just think there's so many ways and rooms to use this piece in that might wind up being my favorite piece. We will see, we will see. We still have two more to go. So, and they are wrapped up, of course. I'm so excited. So here's another little bundle. This one looks cute. <laughs> All right, let's see what this one says. I might be missing a tag. Hopefully it's in here. Cause then, you know, sometimes I like take the tags off, but usually we have a tag. Oh my goodness, you guys, this I think is the one that was created by a woman owned small business just for this box. This is so special. It is from the Willow Grace Candle Company. 
look at this you guys that is so stunning speaking of presentation another wood hewn uh, bowl in a heart shape this time with a gorgeous candle let me see if it says it says hand poured in Florida I'm not seeing what the scent is let me see if I can find a tag for it because I didn't see a tag it could definitely be in um, it could definitely be in the box in which case I'll have to take a look but let me just go ahead and see it smells really good it smells a little bit sweet I'm trying to place what the scent is you guys and I just can't at the moment let me see if I can find a tag though I didn't see one that was glued to that bundle and now you're gonna watch me kind of going through this whole box of stuff I don't think there was one but I do have some information from Victoria about it but let me see if I can find that and otherwise we'll keep digging at the end because we do still have one more item to find hmm that's the one that goes with that but let's see what she said about it she said uh, let's see the candle is also supporting another woman-owned small business and has been handmade just for you you guys that is so special all right we have one more gift and then like I said I will try to kind of I don't know what it is it's got a sweet but fresh scent to it I'm not sure what it says does it say what the scent is I just love that this is something that has multiple uses right because you're gonna be able to burn the candle and enjoy it and then you can also use the nice uh, bowl that's gonna be left afterwards look at the wax seal on this isn't that cool? That's such a neat um, sort of extra touch of care that's gone into this box, you guys. All right, let's see. Can I open this carefully? I didn't see a little sticker or a little tag. I'm going to have to take a look again. All of the tags are usually pretty well um, attached, but I might have just, in my excitement to open it, might have tossed it. Hopefully not. Okay, almost there, you guys. I did also get a nice handwritten note from Victoria, but I skipped it <laughs> just because it was my special note to make me feel special about getting this box. I just, I think all of you will feel very special and very blessed if you have the opportunity to purchase this box. And I love the vibe of it because it does feel a little seasonal. It definitely feels like, you know, it's cozy, but at the same time, timeless i know that's kind of an oxymoron but that's how we roll here lots of oxymorons all right let's see so i haven't found uh a tag on this one yet either i wonder if it's in here because this looks like it might have come like from the from the creator from the manufacturer i'm yeah none of my tags are oh there's a tag there's the tissue so multiple layers so i love that while quality control too you guys this means that they didn't just get a big shipment and then put everything back into a box for us they opened everything up made sure everything looks great made sure everything is up to their standards and then placed that little tag inside so this is our final item i think it's like a kind of vintage looking vase so look at that patina on the outside of that you guys that is really cool and it's glass so somehow they did this sort of like acid etch patina on the outside and then on the inside it's a lot shinier and it's glass and it's kind of got this big goblet shape almost this would look stunning with some puffier flowers like my uh, winter peonies that I've got back there I'd have to get a few more or like some big hydrangeas or just as a really cool statement piece on a shelf right so it says I oh I was gonna say I am braided with flower with natural fibers that was our rug this one it says no, where did it go? I just had the tag, you guys, and now it's gone. Where did it go to? Uh, this, oh, that is the tag. This is a repeat tag. This is very strange. Hmm. Okay, well, I got a repeat tag, which is, I don't, I don't know what to do with this, but I guess we could, it says you could use it as a decorative piece and display on any surface in your home. Oh, no, that was for the bowl, you guys. I think I got a duplicate tag. That is the strangest thing. I, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory though what you could do with this it's so cool I didn't drop it did I no same tag I actually see the other one right over there all right well I have one tag that I couldn't find I am so sorry you guys and we are ending with this gorgeous gorgeous one that had a duplicate tag that is the strangest thing yeah oh maybe I think they got mixed up this one says, I am made of stainless steel and brass, which makes me washable. No, that's our serving spoons. You guys, I have five tags. 
and six items and two of the tags are the same. Oh well. Uh, I just think this is beautiful, but it doesn't matter that I don't have a tag telling me what to do with it because I know and I trust that Victoria will show us all kinds of amazing ways to use this beautiful, beautiful piece. And also I get so many great ideas from all of you who are also in that Facebook group. So I would love to see you guys in there. And again, remember there's so, so much more to this subscription than a box of stuff. It is really an opportunity to help other families in need, to have a a beautiful home. It is an opportunity to meet other like-minded, design-loving folks like yourself. It is an opportunity to get complimentary design advice. I feel like that in itself, the subscription is worth it, even if we didn't get a box of beautiful items for our homes. And I just also want you to remember to get in on it before it sells out because it always does. And I do have a code for you. If you use Hi Noel when you check out, you'll actually get a free extra little gift in your bundle. So do remember that all the details will be there for you in the description box below. I'm loving this. It's so cool. So versatile. It feels really good in my hands. Got a lot of weight to it. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.